Britain's fishing industry will be restored to its former glory within five years thanks to Boris Johnson's Brexit trade deal, a member of the UK negotiating team has said. The agreement secured with Brussels will see quotas currently retained by EU fisheries slowly handed back to the UK over five years. Over the period the value of 25% of fish caught by EU boats will be returned to Britain. After the five years, annual negotiations will take place to determine quotas. UK fisheries will be given a £100 million funding package from next year to prepare the industry for taking back control of its waters. A senior member of the UK negotiating team said the trade deal and accompanying funding package would help rebuild Britain's fishing industry and get it back to the eminence it deserves within five years. The terms of the deal on fishing agreed between London and Brussels represented a significant compromise on both sides. The Prime Minister initially wanted to see a 60% cut in EU quotas over three years, while member states on the continent were pushing for a 15% cut in its catch over the period of 10 years. Today's defense of the deal from the senior UK negotiator comes after fishermen accused the government of selling out the industry. The National Federation of Fishermen's Organizations described the compromise agreed by Lord David Frost with EU negotiator Michel Barnier as a surrender. The group said, when push came to shove, despite the legal, moral and political strength of our case, fishing was sacrificed for other national objectives. Lacking legal, moral, or political negotiating leverage on fish, the EU made the whole trade deal contingent on a UK surrender on fisheries. In the end game, the Prime Minister made the call and caved in on fish, despite the rhetoric and assurances. They added, there will of course be an extensive public relations exercise to portray the deal as a fabulous victory, but it will inevitably be seen by the fishing industry as a defeat. While the senior British negotiator hailed the trade deal for recognizing UK sovereignty, he admitted the transition period was longer than they had hoped for. They said, in an ideal world we would have liked that to have been faster but that is what we were able to agree. At the end of that period there is full control and normal, annual negotiations on foreign quotas.